Making the most of your implementation. There are four major phases in a typical X Libris implementation project. Onboarding, define, build, and deploy. Let's look at each phase in more detail. Phase one, onboarding. Onboarding is your opportunity to prepare in advance of the implementation phase, which can sometimes feel overwhelming. Getting yourself organized and prepared in the onboarding phase will help the entire process feel smoother. Onboarding begins after you've signed your contract and are ready to start working on your implementation. The length of this phase depends on the time you have between the contract signature and the project kickoff, but is usually around three months. It's important to do as much to prepare for your project during this time as possible. The onboarding team will set up a welcome call with you and they will begin a series of administrative activities, including setting up a project base camp site, creating email distribution lists, ensuring you have access to sandbox environments, and securing a migration slot for your project. Important milestones during this phase include agreeing on a project scope, timeline, resource planning, and discussions around implementation methodology, the data migration process, third-party integrations, and authentication. As part of the onboarding phase, you'll get access to your sandbox environment and go through the Getting to Know Alma video series, which provides a basic grounding in Alma concepts and vocabulary, as well as hands-on exercises for you to try out in your sandbox. There are some things you can do during onboarding to help make the most out of your implementation. Key things to take care of in this phase include, know your stakeholders, figure out who all will be involved in the implementation and who might be impacted by the migration to Alma. This might involve people from your IT department or bursar's office. You'll also want to think about how they might feel about participating in this implementation, who is likely to be supportive and who might need more attention. Develop your communication plan. Who will need information about the implementation activities and progress? How often will they need updates and at what level of detail? What medium will you use to communicate this information? Depending on how many stakeholders you have, you may consider using an internal base camp or wiki space for sharing information. Form your team. Figure out who will serve as the functional experts during the implementation. The Alma implementation will need to be a priority, so what responsibilities can be shifted off the core team members temporarily? The goal is that by the end of the onboarding phase, you are prepared for your implementation to kick off. Phase 2. Define. The define phase starts with the kickoff meeting. At this point, the project schedule and its major milestones have already been defined and agreed to during the onboarding phase. At the kickoff meeting, your project team and the Ex Libris team will go through introductions and conduct a comprehensive review of the major project stages, timelines, milestones, deliverables, team roles and responsibilities, communication and training plans. During the define phase, the focus is on helping you and your team grow your knowledge of Alma and making sure that everything is in place for the test load of your data. This will include extracting, validating, and delivering the data from your source system for migration to Alma. During this phase, you should plan to complete the Alma Essentials training, and your production environment will be delivered with data and initial configuration in place for testing. At this point in the project, you should already have access to your Alma sandbox environment. This allows you and your staff to begin exploring Alma directly and complements the learning process as you go through Alma Essentials, which is a series of e-learning sessions that cover the essential content across all Alma functional areas and provides the critical understanding necessary to make informed choices about configuration and workflows. You'll start having regular calls with the project team that will take place throughout the implementation. These meetings can help answer questions that come up as you proceed through the assigned training and help make sure the project timeline stays on target. You'll also always have access to your team through your project base camp, 
so your questions can be asked as they come up and not just during your scheduled calls. It is also at this stage where we begin discussions around critical day one third-party integrations. Common examples are staff and patron authentication and student information systems integration, as those are considered critical for Go Live and can sometimes take more time to sort out due to their complexity. Stakeholders like your IT or finance departments could potentially be looped in to assist on these integration tasks, and the earlier that these discussions happen, the better. XLibris provides a turnkey solution for some of these critical integrations, which can be discussed with your project team. The final priority in the define phase is to help you provide the validated extracts and configuration forms so we can migrate your data. The data extracted from your source system will then be loaded into the production environment in preparation for delivery of your test load. Once the data has been migrated, the XLibris project team works on configuring your production environment using the input collected via the Alma configuration form. Once the test load is delivered, we move into the build phase. Phase three, build. At this stage, you will have access to your own data on the production environment with an initial set of configurations already in place. This is the test load. The cutover load will happen right before you go live, during the cutover process. Your priority at this point is checking the migrated data and ensuring that any changes in migration decisions are clearly documented in preparation for the final cutover load. You'll also be expected to test and check workflows and consult with the XLibris team when adjusting configurations or processes. Third-party integrations with services like student information systems and patron authentication are considered critical milestones and must be fully tested and validated during this stage as well. The focus on training now comes into sharper relief. For most projects, an Alma functional workshop is scheduled to take place a few weeks after the test load is delivered. The goal of the workshop is to expand staff understanding of Alma functionality and identify areas for fine-tuning configuration and local workflows. You will also be expected to designate members of your team, a minimum of two per institution, to complete the Alma Administration Certification course. This requirement is in place to ensure that you are ready to access full Alma configuration options. Depending on your staff size, you should also plan on conducting your own internal training with a focus on ensuring that your library staff is equipped with the skills to perform their regular workflows from day one. During this stage, the Alma environment is integrated with the discovery and delivery interface, usually Primo V or Summon. XLibris recommends that public services staff are included in the process of reviewing and testing the discovery interface, as their inputs are critical in ensuring that the patron-facing experience is optimized for your institution. In the lead up towards Go Live, XLibris will develop and present a cutover plan to your project team. You will complete the Go Live readiness checklist and review it with the XLibris project team. Any red flag items are identified and handled with priority during this stage. The build phase is complete after the cutover load is performed. Cutover involves tight coordination between you and Ex Libris and takes place on average over the course of about 10 days, depending on the complexity and scale of the project. Now we're ready for the last phase. Phase four, deploy. Day one of the deploy phase is the go live date on the production environment. Throughout the deploy phase, roughly four to six weeks, the XLibris project team is available to address any issues and support you through your first steps with Alma and Primo or Summon in production. During this period, functional and project status calls between you and the XLibris project team will continue, and any open items or outstanding integrations are given priority handling. The Go Live Readiness Checklist will be revisited and finalized in preparation for the formal switch to support. Switch to support. The implementation phases are over once you have formally transitioned to the XLibris support team for ongoing support. 
Our dedicated Ex Libra support team is available to assist you with any product-related issues that you are unable to resolve on your own. You'll be invited to attend the Knowledge Acceleration Program in the weeks after you go live. This series of webinars focuses on a range of topics that libraries often look to optimize in their first year of production. The Training Services team also provides frequent, freely available webinars to help you increase your knowledge and optimize your use of Ex Libris products. At this point, you will also be able to start scheduling your series of 12 customer care calls with the customer success team. Your Alma Success Expert will be in regular personal contact with you, ensuring you always have someone you can talk to. The support, training services, and customer success teams are here to help ensure your ongoing success with using Ex Libris products. We also encourage you to join one of our regional user groups and sign up for the Alma Listserv so you can learn from and share with other Ex Libris users. We are excited to welcome you to the Ex Libris family and look forward to helping you find success for your institution using our products.